Hi guys, this is the video showing my Akai AMX mapping for tractor. This is an advanced mapping that has many layers to control everything uh, in tractor from the controller. The Akai AMX is a very small controller, very small form factor. It's like a Z1 and an X1 at the same time with a sound card. So with this device you do the absolutely everything, including Fortex, loops, hot cues, pad effects, macro effects, a slip reverse. This, uh, uh, this mapping is a, an extension of a fantastic mapping made by Stewie from DJ Tech Tools. Uh, it already had uh, uh, many advanced functionality. I extended this with macro effects and control and precise control of the individual effects with a slip reverse, with a, with a filter roll, I'll show all these. And because the mapping is so advanced, because the device is so small, it means that it has many layers on top of each other, ac accessible with shift buttons. So I'll show first the new functions and then the original functions already made by Stewie, because there was many questions how to do this. So when you load tractor, it starts with all the lights on and you just press shift to select deck one, deck A, deck B. And this also turns the volumes down to avoid uh, uh, disasters, basically, on when you are using four decks. There is a way, of course, to select the other decks. I'll show that later because this was already in the original mapping. Let's start with the new functions. We select a track with shift load, which is safer than just load. You can press load at any time. It's shift load. Play. And we'll start with a loop. I'll show all the functions later in, in, in one by one, basically. But first I want to give an idea of the new, of the new features. And the first feature is macro effects. Just like you have the filter that stops in the middle and goes both ways. You go to the panel, the panel light blinks and now these buttons are no longer play, cue and sing and all these things. They select which effect to use. For example, now it's wormhole. But it works like the filter. It stops in the middle. If you go to the whole list, the macro effects are the ones with an M in front of it, and they were introduced by with the Z2. With the Z2, so they have uh, 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 they are like the color effects in Pioneer uh, mixers. They are really useful. So let me show you the, the defects that they are available. Wormhole, polar wind, again, putting on the middle stops, event horizon. So all these effects are useful for different rhythms. Laser slicer. Dark Matter. Stretch. And Flight Test. Now, you select one, you exit this mode, and now it's not blinking, it's the normal, so play and pause is the normal stuff. Sync. So exactly like what's written, but that effect that you selected is always there. If you want to filter back, it's number one, and then it's normal filter. And if you press this button next to the crossfader, it, it, it turns the original filter from tractor. The 
think about the, the cross fader. You can disable it. Pressing shift. Pressing search and cross fader, you disable it. Now it's turned off. By default it's turned off. If you want it, just press shift and cross fader. And now it's there. To whatever A and B you have. I use it disabled, so I just press like this and then it's disabled. Because it's so small. Uh, the, 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 the control is so small, that's why I like it, it's portable, but everything is so com compressed. Next feature, uh, we'll do the, the filter roll, that's something that is unique to this device and in Serato, and here is emulated, you press touch, when you press, when you touch the top, it repeats at one beat, and then it goes like this. Basically, sleep mode and a selectable loop length and filter at the same time. Note that the original mapping has had this as skills, also touch. I disabled that because it's so close that you very easily touch this guy here when you are doing this. Press touch and it's no more. Filter is still there, of course. Next feature, sleep reverse. It's called sensor in Pioneer. You press shift and it goes back with sleep mode. As much as you want. This is very useful in the beginning of the track or when you have the, the beat. So let's get the, the loop back. The next topic is controlling individual effects, for example a delay. You press shift and the, the equalize, equalization buttons. And then these you can select any, any effect. So from the whole list. So this is the list of effects, I want to delay it in the middle, so let's get there. Delay, that's one, that is to choose, note, note that you can select at will because the dry wet is off, so you can choose whatever you want. The second button is to change the amount, the speed, and the third one is dry wet. In the meantime, I went to pick filter, let's get delay. In the meantime, I change the loop. Again, it chooses the effect, it chooses the amount, the, the speed, and this is the dry wet. Same story for the macro effects, but again, uh, but now selectable at any moment without having to go to the panel. So here, again, this is Event Horizon, Polar Wind, and so on. If you want any other one, you select with this shift, not this shift, this is different. This one, you select the effect and then you use this one and it, it immediately acti is active with dry wet at the maximum and when you release it, it stops. So it works like this. Now I want another one. Really 
Other than this, also added uh, some uh, 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 features uh, that are convenient. For example, this one. We are again on the loop. I'll have to show that in a moment. I'm now going to show the uh, original features by Stewie, the most important ones. If you press Shift Panel, you go to the Pad Effects, while this is a Reverb, On-Off, Filter, Delay, this disables all of them, this enables all of them in, in Hold Mode. Now it could be enabled, you could exit and do what you want. It's always there. Shift panel, disable. And the original mapping had five pages of pad effects which are selectable with shift and the volume. And this is seen here. So this is page number one, two, three, and five, four and five. And page number five is really good. Because it has the, uh, the bit measure effect. Please explore it. Page three, ice blur, thick filter, and repair. Now I'll show the, uh, the other functions for uh, deck control, cues, loops that were already on the original mapping and later I'll show the browsing. So let's start with the cues. When you press, so I'm on uh, uh, pad effects mode, press panel to go to normal mode, main mode and this is the mode where the buttons do what they say. So let's go one by one. Play pause, cue, all, nothing special here. Sync on and off. With shift, if you press sync, uh, it goes to, to master. It selects the master. Let's get something on the other deck to show that. It's sync and then you shift sync. That guy is the master, and this guy is the master. Next one goes to the beginning of the track, which is this function. And this one is the slip, the reverse that we already showed. That's with this button, the main button. Now, the, the volume, this button here, which is the volume, is very highly overloaded. So the, the normal way is volume. Nothing special here. With the shift next to it, you select the you select the loop size. So here loop is not enabled, and I select 16 and then shift that the left shift load makes me 16 bit loop and then I press next to it and I select 2 and so on. Take it out like this. So that's this shift. When you press this shift the colors change because it's now the cues. This is loop on and off at one, one fourth 
and this is the four the five cues that I currently have let's see them one two four five and six so this is number one number two number three is not enabled yet number four five and six now how do we delete how do we create and delete loops we press the shift the main shift button like this this and then this and then you delete the queue now you add a queue you move to a queue so this is once you once you are used to this mapping this becomes second nature but if you are seeing this for the first time it's very confusing so let me show you again without any loops without any shifts this is play pause cue sync and so on with the main shift is the red functions go back reverse and so on with this one it's now the queue uh, the hot queues which means go to the hot queue or create a new one so i'm now going to create a new one and with this and this the delete the hot queues just like in big controllers Please note that it's like here and here and then delete, not the reverse. If you do this, the reverse, if you press this and then that, this is now to select the deck. I'll get there later. So deck one, what more features? If we press the other shift on the other side, this becomes pitch bend, which is useful when the bit grid is not enabled. Let's go back to the beginning. This is pitch bend. And with the main shift, so like this, this, and now this, you are now changing the tempo value. Okay. The next function is a big jump, which I use heavily to make, uh, to, to skip or make shorter big breakdowns. It's like doing a radio edit on the fly, more or less. The way it works is as follows. You select how much you want to jump by selecting the loop. For example, eight bits. And then you press shift, the deck shift, and the browser. And this moves you eight by eight. Let me show you on the page more clear I'm doing beat jump for the loop size this is very complete let's imagine that you want not to move by the this is the, the, the simple thing which is moving by the loop size itself let's imagine that you have a loop of uh, four and let's imagine that the loop is not at the right place example let's put the loop right here but not on the right place pressing pressing the deck and the shift move you move the loop itself so like this, now I'm moving the loop 4x4, four four. pressing only one, it moves it moves the, the position without moving the loop. And if you use the other one, okay. this is for big jump. And we have all these, all these features are annotated here with all these layers. So let me uh, uh, cover that now. There are several pages on this PDF. This is the main shift, 
left deck shift, right deck, sh deck shift. This is the effects toggle and the um, macro effects as we covered before. And in red is everything you can do with this button pressed. So this is the filter, FX1 select, depth and dry wet. This is the slip reverse, back and so on. And uh, this moves the tree. So let me show you that. When you press the browsing, it opens full screen really, really quick. And then you select what you want and then shift load because it's here, it says here in red, main shift load. Let's get another track. Or this one. Okay. Uh, next, next shift. So the, everything is documented shift by shift because it's, there is so many. The this shift means this deck shift. So it means that if you are doing stuff on the on the left deck, it's this guy. But if you are doing stuff on this deck, it's that one. Don't confuse it. That's why this is called this. And the next one is other. I'll get there. So on the this shift, this does the beat jump. It also does the loop move. No loop. With this guy here. That's why it's in light blue and sing single shi normal shift is dark blue. You can also set snap and quantize and all these things here, this guy. And here is the loop size and the beat jump size as we discussed. This guy selects, selects the, the, the deck layout. Let's do like this. Nope, this one. So this is selecting this this is selecting which layout and with this one it selects the size of the decks and the size of the other deck from micro to advanced. Okay. So let's get just one two decks again. Okay. Next one, the other shift, so this one for here or that, this one for there, it's a tempo bend and the tempo set. And this does quantize, so here is snap, snap and quantize and full screen and all these things. Pad effects we already discussed, macro effects also as well, and the browser. The last thing is if you have a very large collection, you go to the track collection, if you press load, you can go page down by page down, which is really, really useful. Especially if you do this, and then if you go like this. So, the last topic, the last topic, let's get these again, let's get four decks, is how we control four decks with just a, just a small device. So the way it goes is like this, you press, you, you get a loop, and I'm going, this is deck uh, number one, and when I press shift search, so main shift, this shift, this is now all, all I ha highlighted and this is inviting you to select which deck you want to control on this side. So if you press the third one, I'm now controlling with this guy, deck C, but this one is still deck D, deck, deck B. Let, let's see it, still there, okay? And now I select a track and shift load and I'm going to load here. 
and now I play it. Of course, now I don't see a lot, so let's get this bigger. This is why it's useful. Let's get this synchronized. And this guy is now this one. And this one is still this one. So this is really useful, for example, when you have a loop going, you put the equalization. Note that everything is with soft takeover. So it means that, for example, if, if you set it like this, this position, and now you go back to, to deck one, deck A, which is like this. Now, the, this control has to catch that. For example, here, the base is cut, but the physical button is to the other side because we left it like this. So what happens is when you touch it, nothing happens until you go there. So I'm moving, and now I grab it, and now it works. This is really important because otherwise there will be a jump. So again, deck, I'm controlling deck one and two, these guys here, deck three is on the background, let's control it, main shift, this shift, press three, and then it, here it goes. That's basically it. Uh, the, the PDF has all the details of all the functions. I hope that you enjoyed. Make any comments, especially if something is not clear. Any, any bug report, most welcome. This will enable you to, with a device like this, do everything on the controller. Don't, I only touch the keyboard to search the next track, the name. That's it. Nothing else. Is, is everything else is done on the control itself. I hope that you enjoyed and see you next time.